Sorry that I hadn't made any more uh, turbine videos lately, but I have other priorities that are taking up all my time and money. And turbines are expensive to put together. Right now I've got a few patches to make on this canopy, but I need to show you why I have to have a canopy that sits over the top of my camper. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I can move that uh, the skin of the camper up and down. The skin actually, ooh, the skin is actually released from the styrofoam roof. It has a, this is uh, about as thick as an aluminum can. Underneath that is a half inch thick styrofoam. Underneath that is a 1 16th inch thick plywood. And that's the roof. You got 88 square feet of roof. And it, it's not designed to support itself. Um, and it, which wouldn't be so bad if, if the skin didn't bubble up. I mean, that, it'll get so hot, it'll let, make like a, a balloon. It'll separate this, this far away from the roof itself in certain situations but it's not that bad right at the moment but it's lifted itself up so much that it's broke the seam that runs down the middle of the top so it leaks really bad it's destroyed the bed that's right underneath this and the platform that it sits on that whenever the roof is pulled up that platform slides out over the over this area right here and makes the bed all this is walking around space where the beds beds will stick out the ends it's a it's a huge area very very good looking trailer it's just a pitiful pitiful design for a roof it's just terrible aluminum skin puffing up is only one of the problems the the styrofoam gets hot and it can't hold itself and the 1 16th inch thick uh, plywood can't hold the roof either it's it's just too large of an area so when it gets hot the whole whole top will sag and so what I've done is I've got uh, a bunch of uh, two by fours underneath the mattresses that are here at the front and and the, and the back here too so the mattresses are being pushed up against the bottom of the roof to help hold it at least semi-straight. Uh, so if there is a uh, stray summer shower, I'm hoping that most of the water will run off rather than going into that seam. Although that, that seam does look pretty bad. Uh, I'll show you how I'm going to fix that. So eventually I want to use it. You know, I bought this, um, bought this in, let's see, well, the last tag was in 2007. I bought it in 2006. I've never used it. It's just sitting here falling apart. I bought it with the intention of taking my first vacation in a very long time, and I still haven't. It's been 21 years I haven't had a vacation, but we're going to be shutting down the shop pretty soon. The newsstand will be closed. We'll be renting that space. I want to put this to use before I'm too old to enjoy it. Um, but what I plan to do is run two long pieces down the middle and they're going to be resting on these brackets, on these braces. This is an air conditioner brace that goes across. Of course it's too far away from where the air conditioner hole was and when I first got the thing the air conditioner fell down inside the camper. I took it back and they replaced the top under warranty. I told them do not put the air conditioner back on. Two months later when it was ready I went back to get it and the air conditioner was back. And it didn't take very long before it sank into the roof again or started to. So I, I did some bracing right there but it didn't help the area over here this fell in on its own weight that had 80 pounds of air conditioner sitting on it 
This is the other air conditioner brace that goes across here. So we have one over here and one right here. And what I intend to do is take this brace off and I'll be attaching it somewhere on this end. It'll be close to this end to go linear and across. And I've got two square tubing uh, I think they're one and a half or one and three quarter inch square that'll be running the length of the top in order to hold this up. And once I have the bracing underneath it, then I have to figure out how to replace the plywood that's underneath the top. And then I've got to figure out what I'm going to put over the top because this aluminum, uh, This aluminum balloons up. This is a crack where the air conditioner was sitting where that uh, hatch is now. You know, I've just got the vent open so heat can come out. The, the air conditioner sat right there and the weight of the air conditioner would push down and then the heat would cause the skin to bubble. So it made a crack that goes well, it's not completely cracked, but it is folded. There's a crack right here. There's a crack on the other side of the same location. But it's folded all the way across. Um, and this, that just won't do. So I've got to fix this top before this uh, $15,000 investment is absolutely worth nothing. I mean, it's not worth much right now, but... Uh, at least it's got the uh, the frame is still there and I can repair the bed and the platform that it sits under. Uh, I can repair a lot of the different things. Um, but like I said, it was brand new and it's just falling apart sitting there. But I'll show you the video on that uh, when I do it.